Hey everyone um, and welcome to today's tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can create nice embodied text uh, within your products to add more detail. So I created this scene with a pen and um, what I want to show you guys today is how you are going to make the text embod embodiment here, embodiment you see here and um, yeah it's just a really nice and cool technique where you're using height maps and uh, the reason that it's much quicker and much easier to do this is that it's not really um, geometry that you add to the object um, it's more the kind of appearance that there is depth within your image and there's a lot of video explaining the uh, normal map and why it's used a lot in, for example, gaming. But um, yeah, I just want to show you how you can easily create your own maps, height maps to use as normal maps within your, or displacement maps within your uh, Blender file and Blender projects. And um, just before we start, I just want to quickly mention that I created a Patreon. So if you want to support this channel here on YouTube and support further development on, on this channel and also get access to the project files that I use here on YouTube. You can go and support me on Patreon. Right now, I'll, right now I have created two tiers. So the first tier is one where you support me and, and this YouTube channel and you also get access to all of the files that I have here in YouTube so you can go and explore for yourself and um, I will also answer questions if you have any uh, and you can write me on my Patreon and um, I will help you if you have any questions whatsoever with your own Blender projects or if you have questions just in general. Um, and I have also another tier that I have not yet created anything for and that's a more expensive tier. And the reason I created that tier is because I think it will be fun and relevant if I started to, to do tutorials and behind the scenes from real client projects and how I go about them and how you can create and use Blender to commercial work. So um, yeah, but but it takes a lot more work to create those and uh, yeah, I, I'm, I think I will only do them if I get a lot of support here on the YouTube channel um, and, and continue to grow, but also if I start to get some patrons to support me, um, I think it would make sense to do it then. But, um, but yeah, just if you, if you feel like, and if you don't, that's totally fine. You can just keep watching these YouTube videos and um, yeah, but um Let's just dive straight into this tutorial today. So um, if I scroll in here, oh, sorry, if I scroll in here, you can see that I have this one here. I, you can see that I have the shading down here and uh, I'm just going to do this from scratch with you. So um, the way that we are going to do this is we are going to actually just just take this one out here, take it down, and I will also take this one down here. So now it's just the uh, the metal that I have created. Just move this out of the way. So, yeah. So the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to export our UV map um, to Photoshop. And the way that we're going to do this is we're going to the UV editing area here. Right now I have already done something as you can see, but the thing is that you should select your object here, the, the one that you are going to do the UV on. And um, you can see if I just click this one away, you can see that we have the UV um, area here. So if I, oh, sorry, take this one down here. And if I just, select these faces here you can see that they start to appear over on the uv grid over here 
and um, I also created some seams and uh, the way that I did this was I just selected the, the edge here, pressed U and marked seam. And the reason I did this was that this will be easier when unwrapping our um, unwrapping our object. I also did one for the size so I could split up this front and this back over here. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to select all of this and you can see if I just reset it and then unwrap it, you can see that we have these faces here over here. So I'm going to rotate this one 90 degrees and I'm just going to move it straight in again here. So it just aligns a bit better. Yes, and now we're going to export this one. Um, whoop. Now we're going to so just remember to have this one selected over here so that shows up over here. And then you're going up to the I'm just saving. Let me just save. Uh, yeah. And I'm just going up to the UV <coughs> and um, export the UV layout. And I'm just going to export it as text. Uh, UV um, YouTube. <laughs> so I remember it. Don't mind all of the other things that I have. <laughs> so I'm just going to export this one to the desktop and then I'm going to open it up in Photoshop. So now you can see that I have it here in Photoshop and uh, I just right clicked and open in Photoshop. Um, then we can just take our text and I think the down one here is the front and I'm just going to write the name of the product. So it was the Meisterstock from Mont Blanc. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter right now, just so you guys can see. So I'm just going to take this and going to align it here in the center. And then I'm also going to... Oh, oh now it... How do I get this one already? Oh, annoying. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to create a solid, sorry for that, a solid layer and turn it um, all the way to black. And the reason I do this is because as you start to see, oh, I mean, I turn it to white, as you start to see now, we have the contrast and this is going to be used as our height map. Um, I'm just actually going to turn this one white instead and this one black, so we can see what will stand out on our um, yeah, UV map. So then I'm just going to export, I'm just going to quick export, but you can export it with a higher resolution also as a PNG. Um, so YouTube, uh, yep, and then I'm just going to replace the, the UV that I had. So now we can go back into the Blender file, and then we can actually in our node here, um, in our shading tab, we can put in an image texture and we can also put in a bump. Um, and then we can plug the bump into the normal and the color into the height. And now we actually just need to open our let's see where it was our exported file here and um, let me just turn it up here again <laughs> and then we are also going to pick it over here so now you can see that we have it right here and we should also start to see it over here oh it was on the other one so i'm just going to take this one down here and now it's turned <laughs> upside down so i think we are going to rotate it around like this and yeah it's just it's it's always a bit complicated with these uv maps um and you will figure out for yourself but now you can see that we have the embossment here on the um, on our mesh so you can just you know scale this one to your liking and you know work out how you think it should look for you so i'm just going to spend a little bit of time on this one uh, 
and this is finally getting too much and then I think right here will be fine and I'm just going to invert this one so it's like inside of the object so it doesn't look like it's standing out but more like it's engraved um, yeah and actually there's not a lot more to this um, if I go back to the layout area here you should start to see when it has just yeah uploaded here you should start to see how this effect kind of looks like that it is engraved um, but the thing is it's not adding any you know geometry to your settings so it's actually a pretty nice effect um, as you really don't need to add more you know complexity to your scene and make it slower um, I don't know why I have this one let me just remove that one um, yeah so as you can see here we have some really nice engravement and uh, a normal map here and you can just play around with the strength also I'm just oh actually you can is it the distance I think you can play with the distance here yeah um, and I typically play with the distance and not the strength of the normal map I just think it gives a better result um, but I think we can do a bit more here so now you can see but you can see how you can play around with like how much um, it should go through so um, so yeah, this is the scene for today and uh, yeah, hope you liked it and uh, see you next. Bye.